If you've been up on the latest beauty routines, you'll know that collagen is imperative for firm skin and for strong bones. But there is another protein that researchers are figuring out how to revive and regenerate in our later years. Joining us with a fascinating therapy and study on the subject is Douglas Mulhall, environmental health expert and author of the soon to be released, The Nature of Longevity. It's great to have you with us. Thanks for having me. So the protein that I mentioned is called elastin, and some of us have heard of this. Can you please explain? Well, actually, there's a very simple experiment everyone can do no matter what your age. You just pinch the back of your hand like this, and if you're young, it'll snap back in no time flat. If you're older, as you can see, like a guy like me, it actually takes some time to go down. That's because the elastic in your skin is degrading and that's the same elastic that's in your arteries that triggers a lot of the damage due to heart disease. So the elastic in your skin, the elastic in your arteries, and the elastic in your or uh, organs are all the same thing, and they are major contributors to aging. And you can't, you can't live without them. Every breath you take and every step you take is driven by elastin. So as we get older, it, it goes away, just like collagen does. Uh, we're finding ways of replenishing our bodies with collagen, whether it's through injections or supplements. But how do you replenish your body with elastin? How does that work? Yeah, well, first of all, most people think that when they sag, it's the collagen. It's not. Oh. It's the elastin. Um, and that's, that's the, the critical uh, part of the whole thing. Now, what has been happening is that the reason that doctors never talked uh, to their patients about it there was nothing they could do about it. They couldn't, they couldn't fix it, they couldn't target it. Mm. It's, a, it's a very difficult thing to target. Lo and behold, uh, about uh, seven years ago, uh, scientists at Clemson University in South Carolina discovered not only a way to target this damage to the last one, but to repair and restore it. And ever since then, they've been working on it. And today, some of these discoveries are actually coming into the clinic. That's incredible. And is this for, uh, for, for beauty purposes? Is this more for health and longevity? It's <laughs> all of the above. Ah. Uh, if, you, if you're talking about skin, of course, you know, everyone wants to have nice skin and uh, you, can, you can focus on that. There are four different areas of focus on elastin. One is in the arteries, one is for aneurysms, one is for wound repair, and one is for skin. And that's the really exciting thing. You know, it's not just a one-off thing. Um, the, these, these companies and uh, institutions are looking at the whole uh, gamut. Mm -hmm. And when they bring this into the clinic, I can tell you this is going to be a paradigm shift in healthcare. So how are we looking as far as the timeline goes and how do people go about obtaining this therapy? Well, um, there's actually a skin cream that's available uh, on the uh, on the market right now uh, being offered by a company. It's It's been around for uh, about a year. And um, there is another company that is using a device to deliver uh, this substance directly to aneurysms. Now, why oh, are wow. aneurysms important? Because anyone who's had one knows there's nothing you can do about them. Mm -hmm. And they're very dangerous. And when they burst, you can die. Mm -hmm. This is the first time that there is a recorded instance of aneurysms being reversed before they break. And this is a tremendous breakthrough. Um, and it's in clinical trial mm -hmm. uh, right now. And the results can be expected uh, in the next year. Oh, well, I think people are going to be waiting with bated breath for this on many different levels, of course, health-wise, but also uh, superficially speaking. Um, and finally, your book is going to be coming out in February. Can you just give us a brief overview of that? Well, the book is called The Nature of Longevity. And uh, although it, it, it deals with elastin, certainly, the most important thing that it deals with is the impacts of environmental stress on your body. What's basically been discovered over the years is that environmental stress is the major trigger for the degeneration mm. of your body. And, and what the book describes is why this is happening and how it's being fixed right now. Oh. And it's completely unique. No one has ever published 
something like this before. I cannot wait to dig into that. Douglas Mulhall, thank you so much for joining us. Again, the book is called The Nature of Longevity. The protein is called Elastin, and we want more of it. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks very much, and people can go to calcify.com if they want more information. Perfect. We're back after this.